In this video we're going to look at solving some uh, linear inequalities. So these are the three that I'm going to work through, just to really get used to how it goes. Um, starting off with that first one, 5x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 3x minus 9. We treat it in much the same way as we would an equation. The only thing we're ever going to be watching out for is um, multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Okay, that's all we're ever going to be looking for. So 5x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 3x minus 9. I'm going to, uh, first of all, take 3x from both sides. So we get 2x plus 7 is greater than or equal to minus 9. Then I can take 7 from both sides. So we get 2x is greater than or equal to minus 16. And then divide both sides by 2. And we get x is greater than or equal to minus 8. Okay, so dividing through by the positive number, it doesn't change the sign. So the answer to this is x is greater than or equal to minus 8. Okay, that's the first one. Then we've got five, minus 5x plus 2 is less than 9. Okay, so I'm going to take 2 from both sides first. So we've got minus 5x is less than 7. And then I'm going to divide through by minus 5. And in dividing through by a negative number, the symbol must change sides. Okay, well, must swap. So we get 7 divided by minus 5, or minus 7 fifths, okay? So um, you could write that as minus 1.4 if you like, uh, but we'll just leave it as a fraction, okay, for the moment. And then finally this one. Uh, 3x minus 3 over 4, take away x plus 1 over 2 is greater than 4. Okay, I'm going to first of all multiply through by the 4. Okay, what that's going to do is leave the 3x minus 3 as is, take away 4 lots of x plus 1, so 4x plus 4 all over 2 is greater than 4. Uh, sorry, it's greater than 16 because we've multiplied everything by 4. Okay. Then I'm going to multiply everything by 2. Uh, if you're, or you could multiply everything by 2, or you could just divide through that fraction by 2. Okay, I'm going to multiply through by 2. The reason being um, is that you might not initially spot it. I'm just, um, it's really up to you. If you didn't spot it, this is what you would do. Multiplying through everything by 2, we would get 6x minus 6. Uh, the 4x plus 4 would stay the same, uh, but making sure it's take away 4x plus 4, so it's take away 4x, take away 4, okay? I almost fell into that. And because the 16 has been doubled as well, we'd have 32. Now we can tidy up this left-hand side. We've got 6x take away 4x is 2x, minus 6 take away 4 is minus 10, okay? Then I can add 10 to both sides, so we get 2x is greater than 42, and then divide both sides by 2. And in dividing both sides by a positive number, the sign symbol doesn't change. So x is greater than 21 for that one. Okay? So there are three examples. I expect uh, the number 3 is the one that you most likely would need to practice, um, but hopefully you could now see how inequalities can be solved in much the same way as uh, you would do an equation. And really, the only thing you're going to watch out for is if you're dividing or multiplying by negative number and how that's going to change the sign. Okay?